Okay, in this segment we're going uh, to cover installing uh, trim molding for the door casing. And we're just going to start with the left side. Our reveals are already set up for us because we're using existing molding that was removed before. And that's going to be determined by the position of the um, base molding down there. And whatever the reveal is there will follow the same line right on up the door. And um, we kind of clamped everything down, put everything together for a pre-fit to make sure the molding would go all around and line up correctly. And it all looks good, so we'll just go ahead and fasten it this time. Now in these multi-layered trim pieces, if you'll shoot your nail in the groove, it's real easy to cover with caulk and uh, almost impossible to see. It doesn't leave a big divot out in the middle of the shiny portion of uh, molding where it's easy to see. And I'm just going to put three light loose ones in until we get everything on and then I can go around and add a few more nails. That way if I need to make some adjustments, it won't be as difficult. Okay, we finished putting on the right side and I'm just going to put in three nails. I'm going to go back and put a few more in um, when we finish up. But this way if I need to make some adjustments, I don't have as much to, uh, or it, it won't be as difficult for me to do so. So we'll come down and do the right side next. And we're going to follow the same procedure as the left side, where we just set it up according to our base molding. And that determines the reveal line. And we follow the same straight reveal line going up. So it fits good. So I'm just going to grab the gun. I'm going to need a little bit more air hose here. Okay, I'll come back in a few minutes, add a few more nails after we put the top piece on. And the next step is just to uh, install the top piece of the molding. And I still got a little bit of caulk here and there on these old pieces. You want to make sure and get all that removed so you get our miter joints nice and tight. Okay, looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is uh, just go out and clean up these miter joints real quick. So I'll pull this down and we'll be right back and install it. Okay, following the same procedure as two sides, I just lay in the top piece of uh, the molding, nail it down, and that's it. Concluded. That finishes our project on replacing a sliding glass door, finishing out the interior and exterior. Please watch our other movies or other train videos in these training areas.